Hi, this is Peña reading for Dr. Palombo. Growers are beginning to prepare local fields for fall melons, and with this comes the threat for Cucurbit Yellow Suntic Disorder Virus, CYSDV. The virus was first identified in desert melons in the fall of 2006, where widespread infection of cantaloupe, honeydews, and other melons cost growers a significant portion of their crops. Without question, yields and qualities in desert melon crops can be seriously affected by CYSDV infection. Additionally, melon pest management has been affected by CYSDV as insecticide usage on fall melons has increased significantly since 2006. Over the past six years, we have been studying the virus and trying to understand its epidemiology and impact on fall melon production. In addition, we continue to develop new information on control of the vector of CYSDV, Bemisia whitefly adults. Whitefly numbers this spring and summer have been very heavy and the incidence of CYSDV on spring melons was higher than I have ever, ever observed. However, how this translates into virus incidence this fall is unknown, but I would anticipate the risk from CYSDV to be as high as previous years. Further, given the aggressive management program that PCAs and growers are now using, it'll be interesting to see how CYSDV impacts melon production this fall. Our research today suggests that fall melons produced near cotton or near areas where melons were produced the previous spring are at high risk of infection. When possible, growers should attempt to isolate fall planting as far away as possible from these sources of white flies and CYSDV. Growers forced to plant fall melons near these crops should be vigilant in minimizing adult white fly infestation levels with insecticides during pre-bloom growth stages. To view a summary of the status of CYSDV in Yuma County and guidelines for white fly CYSDV management, this is the document Management of Wildflies and CYDV on Fall Melon Crop. Thank you.